Hello, welcome back to Unreal University. In this video, I'll share 10 creative ways that you can make money with Unreal Engine 5. We'll explore common methods and some that you might have not even heard of yet. Let's kick things off with the first method, selling assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace or other platforms like Sketchfab, CG Trader, or TurboSquid. There's a high demand for ready to use assets as they save developers time and money. Even some major studios prefer buying asset packs rather than investing in extensive modeling and programming. Games like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and Ark Survival Evolved have used assets from the Unreal Engine marketplace in their final games. Quality is key. Successful asset packs have the ability to bring in thousands of dollars every month. Specialized studios like Sinti have created many different asset packs, each with their own unique style. So there is demand for this type of thing if it's done right. For success in this space, it's essential to create high quality assets that are versatile and can be used in various projects. For example, a pack focused on creating an advanced combat system may have high demand in the marketplace as it would save developers months of work. On the other hand, you have many more niche packs for example, if you created a pack where you created very highly realistic pencil models, it may have a smaller audience. To increase your chances of success, position yourself in a specific theme or style and maintain consistency across your releases. While the Unreal Engine Marketplace is the primary platform for Unreal, other platforms like I mentioned Sketchfab, CG Trader, and even ArtStation are worth exploring. Keep in mind, Epic Games takes a 12% cut of all of your sales from the platform although this is quite low when we compare it to other places, so it's actually kind of good. Now, you may have noticed, every month, Unreal Engine releases free assets for all its users. How are the free monthly assets decided? And how are the creators compensated? There are two ways. The marketplace team may approach you, expressing interest in featuring your asset in one of the free assets for the month. Occasionally, they collaborate with, um, YouTubers like Game From Scratch, and if they agree, your asset could be added to their list. Alternatively, you can initiate the process by submitting a request to Epic Games expressing your desire to have the asset featured in the free for the month section. If it successfully passes the selection process, then it'll be included. Regarding compensation, the payment is pretty straightforward. Creators receive a one-time payment of $7,500. Note that the compensation remains consistent irrespective of the value of your asset. So it doesn't matter if you're selling an asset for $5 or $200, you'll still be paid $7,500. Developing high quality assets and being consistent can lead to success in selling them. The next method I have is freelancing. This is another avenue worth exploring. It involves doing specific requests for clients. Platforms like Fiverr and Upwork will allow you to connect with thousands of clients seeking solutions for their projects. You can set competitive rates, and with Unreal Engine's versatility, you can offer services ranging from programming to environment creation, or whatever you like. With freelancing platforms, I know Fiverr takes a 20% commission on everything you sell, and when you work on platforms like Fiverr and Upwork, it exposes you to competition. You could possibly create your own website, as this would offer independence. Although initially it could be challenging, it will allow you to build up your brand, increase prices, and have customer loyalty. Freelancing offers the opportunity to work from anywhere, choose only the projects that you want, and allow you to grow in areas that you choose, which makes it kind of a compelling option. The next way you can make money with Unreal Engine is by creating educational content. When I was learning Unreal Engine, I wanted quick tutorials which are straight to the point as I found that more helpful when I needed to learn something. So that's the type of educational content that I created. I put these videos on YouTube and with the YouTube Partner Program, I'm able to monetize these videos by displaying ads on some of them. You can also offer educational content in the form of private tutoring. You can teach people one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe you can teach people in smaller groups. Or you can release courses on platforms like Udemy or your own website, which are specialized in a certain topic that you know quite well. Talking about education, if you're interested in learning how to create full games like the ones being shown on the screen right now, make sure to check out my website. I'll put a link to it somewhere on the screen right now. But this is not the only way. 
You could create interactive applications for learning specific topics or basic concepts enriched with visual aids, which can make the learning process more enjoyable and effective. For example, one educator used Unreal Engine to allow his students to design their virtual history museum projects. Their favorite aspect was the ability to make the museum that they've always wanted to visit. Many students think history is boring, but they enjoy video games, animations, and computers. Instead of putting history content into a static space, they can make a museum float on water or reside in a volcano. The potential to create and offer these interactive applications is promising and this field looks like it's continuing to evolve. Ever wondered how companies achieve perfect renders for their products in advertisements? Many of them use 3D applications with Unreal Engine 5 being a go-to software for creating product renders. And in the automotive industry, it's used for pre-purchase customization so customers can design the cars that they want and then virtually test drive them. Epic Games has also partnered with major fashion brands like Louis Vuitton and Balenciaga with virtual events which can showcase the growing trend of using Unreal Engine for marketing and testing virtual products. Offering rendering services to these brands can be lucrative. You can create a strong portfolio which showcases all of your virtual renders which can help showcase your expertise. The next way you can make money using Unreal Engine is by creating virtual environments. In the film industry, it's very common for them to create virtual environments that characters can act in. These virtual productions use real-time environments projected on LED walls which save time and money. It allows real sets to be combined with virtual elements enabling rapid changes for directors. Specialized teams including artists skilled in Unreal Engine play a crucial role in creating the environments. This emerging form of production is gaining traction. For example, in The Mandalorian Season 1, they used this technology to shoot the series on a stage surrounded by massive LED walls displaying dynamic digital sets with the ability to react and manipulate this digital content in real time during live production. Making the right contact and showcasing your efficiency in this area can lead to opportunities in cinema, advertising, music videos, or independent productions. The potential for growth in the sector is considerable. Next up, we have augmented reality. Augmented reality is an interactive experience that combines the real world and computer generated content. It's used by games like Pokemon Go. With Unreal Engine, there's ample opportunity to explore this technology by developing games or applications. The market for AR is vast and relatively untapped ranging from simple projects to complex applications. Think of Snapchat filters or Instagram filters. Beyond entertainment, industries like e-commerce, e.g. IKEA, can use AR to enhance customers by understanding what their products are. So I think they have like, you can virtually see how a table would fit in your room or something. The next way you can make money using Unreal Engine is by making games. It is a game engine after all. Although developing a game from scratch is no easy task. Even with a team, making a game can take months or even years. Whilst it's an incredible learning experience, creating games on the scale of Fortnite or GTA is unlikely. So you can create games either commercially or for fun. If you're choosing to make a game commercially, marketing becomes very important. This involves defining the type of game that you're gonna make, establishing a specific art style for your game and how you're gonna market it. On platforms like Steam, um, I saw an article, it's from like 2019, but it found that games released in 2019 had a median income of just $1,136 for their lifetime. Now, this isn't bad for independent developers, but when you factor in the hours invested, it may seem less lucrative. Additionally, platforms like Steam take 30% of your sales. I know Epic Game Store released their own um, marketplace to kind of like um, counter Steam. They only take 12% and sometimes they offer exclusivity deals with games. I'm not sure how much they pay them, but I'm sure that it's pretty good. Despite these challenges, there are success stories like Choo Choo Charles and Undertale, games developed by one person slash a small group, which shows that good ideas, motivation and passion can lead to success. Now, let's dive into the world of virtual reality. 
VR allows users to explore a virtual environment, offering experiences through games and applications. Despite kind of a slow start due to hardware constraints, VR is slowly gaining momentum. Apple is working on this anticipated headset and Unreal Engine provides a user-friendly platform to create VR projects. Depending on the success and growth of this, there could be an opportunity to create games and applications for the specific hardware. Virtual reality has already made significant strides finding applications in gaming and industries like architecture. Number nine, we have photogrammetry. This is the art and science of extracting 3D information from photographs. The process involves taking overlapping photographs of an object, structure, or space and converting them into 2D or 3D digital models. Modern applications like Luma AI and drones have simplified this process, allowing artists to generate realistic meshes. Unreal Engine has Nanite, which is an excellent tool for optimizing these meshes. They also have Quixel Scan, which is a real-world example to demonstrate the same principle of scanning objects for 3D replication. The expanding market presents opportunities to offer services or 3D assets to game studios by only using your phone and the right skills to take high quality scans of 3D objects which can then be sold or given to these types of people or studios. Then the final way you can make money with Unreal Engine is with architectural visualization. This involves creating realistic, interactive 3D representations of architectural design. Utilizing Unreal Engine's advanced graphic capabilities, designers can render lifelike environments for clients and stakeholders to explore virtually, which can help make decisions to make money in architectural visualization with Unreal Engine. Individuals can offer these services on freelance platforms. Additionally, you can also make tailor-made assets on places like the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which are specifically for architectural visualization projects. You can also collaborate with architectural firms to enhance presentations or pitches through immersive virtual walkthroughs. So, these are the ideas. If any of them interest you, I encourage you to delve further into them and research them. So, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!